Jonas here with uh, yet another Unreal Engine tutorial. This time I'm going to go through the steps how to uh, connect the camera to the player of the head so that when uh, the, cam uh, the head turns then we um, turn the camera uh, accordingly. So I have a separate tutorial showing the basics of this uh, going uh, through this step by step. So if you haven't watched it, uh, go ahead and uh, watch it first. Um, it actually covers uh, is is covered in uh, four uh, different um, separate uh, videos. So I will put a link to each of them in the description of this video, um, so you have easier access to it. Anyway, uh, this is the current state that we left it in the last time, and as you can see, the cam the rotation here uh, does not affect the player's head and when we move to the sides the player orients his uh, movement according to the movement uh, the, head, the head or the body according to the movement so um, we are going to change this a bit so um, first of all we want to go ahead inside the base character blueprint and find the, um, the movement component the character movement component and um, this is thing called orient rotation to movement so if we uncheck this one um, and test this out you can see that now he is moving from side to side without turning so um, this is actually what we want to have in the end and then uh, control the rotation also so uh, we need to keep this off on the character movement but uh, since I've uh, been working on this project for quite a while I know for a fact that um, uh, I have some places inside the edit code that where I uh, alter this value. So I want to check orient. Um, what was it called? Let's go. Orient rotation. Oh. So I. See can see right off here I have the I'm setting it when I'm walking then I set it back to orient rotation um, so actually I want to go ahead and uh, this is inside the update movement um, function uh, which is responsible for keeping the movement state updated so um, but if you had, haven't uh, made this exactly the way I did, but just want to know how to do this, just uh, make sure that you don't orient rotation to move and then you're good to go. So i um, just going to remove them and now it's just no uh, results found. So uh, now we know for certain that the value we set here in the designer is going to be what, whatever it's uh, going to be. Um, so the next thing we should take a look at is uh, let's check, take a look at the head actually. Um, so inside the animation blueprint, uh, we have the animation graph. I have some stuff here with the this is the locomotion graph, uh, which should be uh, something you're familiar with. If not, uh, I have videos showing how this works. Also, um, so uh, we want to. Doesn't really matter where you put it, but just put it somewhere. Um, I'm gonna put it here, and I already um, prepared a little space for this. Actually, I need to make this a little bit bigger. So what we need to do here is to insert uh, a transform uh, modified bone, um, and um, plug this one in. And let's not plug this one in yet because we need some more. And the bone we want to modify is the head, and we don't care about the translation, so we can just click this one off and disappears from up here. And we uh, don't worry about the scale as well. So uh, the only thing we want to change is the rotation, and we want to add to existing and keep component space here. Okay, so um, this is the head, and. Since I'm just going to jump right into the semi-advanced version of this, I'm going to duplicate this four times. Um, so, connect this one up. And connect this one up. And 
this one up it's going to be fairly big so we're going to have a total of five uh, maybe i should stack these um, that's actually not a bad idea okay so this goes there and there and this goes here and this finally goes here so the first one was the head and the next one we want to modify go up here and point the neck and the next one we want to modify is the um, spine 3 and uh, modify spine 2 and we modify want to modify spine 1 but all, not all of them uh, would uh, equal um, values so um, the head we want to affect 0 0.5 so that's going to only be half of the uh, the effect and actually on the neck bone we only want 0 0.1 so it's a very very slight subtle uh, effect that's going to have the rotation and uh, on the spine 3 0 0.2 is a little bit more and on the next one we want to have 0 0.2 and i believe let me check something yes 0 0.1 on the lower lowest um bone you can play around with these values anyway uh, the rotation that we want to feed into this uh, gonna be the head rotation I believe I left this one in already head rotation uh, yeah you have a variable or if you don't have it just create a rotate variable um, and drag that in so just want to connect that up to all of them because that even though it's called head rotation, it's actually going to affect all of these uh, bones. Um, so all of them are now connected to the head rotation. Um, and let's check something. Uh, this function we don't need actually. It's something something I tested out. So we don't need that because we want to actually not update the head rotation on the anim um, blueprint. Uh, we want to do that inside the base character because we have all the things uh, at hand in there. So let's save this for now and press compile. Good. All right. So uh, let's go back into the base character blueprint and uh, on the event graph, um, go and find the event tick. And uh, we want to create a function for this called um, update head rotation. Um, this one in so we now have that connected and um, let me just check something uh, what we want to do first um, yeah well since I started making these videos I was uh, making use of all these interfaces and in the meantime I kind of <laughs> regretted that uh, so uh, in this video, I'm actually going to ma uh, make a little change to this. So <laughs> uh, because it takes too long to to make, so I'm just going to cheat a little bit, or maybe I'm not, I don't know if it's really cheating. So, but uh, anyway, so I, I often find myself wanting to get my animation instance. Uh, so I w actually want to make a function for that. Get my anim instance. Um, oh, and what this one is going to do is to say uh, get any instance for the mesh and we want to cast that so we're going to make that cast inside we could actually just make the um, use the interface here but for now because we want to make it fast just going to cast this to my enemy blueprint um, and the idea is, is just to encapsulate this inside the function so we don't have to change that a, a ton of places in the end um, so uh, right click here and say return so add a return node and connect this one and on the output we want to output a variable called my anim bp and it's going to be of the type my anim bp Blueprints. So connect this one up. So now we have a function we can just call um, to get that. And the reason for this is obviously because we want to set some variables on the 
an animation blueprint sometimes and then this just makes it a uh, handy uh, handy other if you can say that so anyway back inside the update head rotation now we have the animation instance and I kind of like these local variables so I'm going to promote this to a local variable so I don't have to drag uh, lines all over the place call it local um, and um, let's see uh, I should have drag out a little space here and no wait a minute um, the function uh, the next function we're going to make uh, it's called get head rotation because um, we actually want to as, as the next thing somewhere over here we want to set the um, like this one from the drag from the local and DP uh, set head rotation and in order not to mess this uh, function up too badly um, I kind of want to make a encapsulating function for this one Oh, can't really decide. Anyway, let's uh, let's just um, let's first of all actually disconnect this one because, as I just said, I don't want all these long lines. Um, so we're just gonna connect it this way. Um, and make this is not gonna be enough space. It's gonna take quite a, a bit. Okay. Um, so we want to now get the the head rotation um, so let's uh, start uh, we need to get the control rotation first which the, the control rotation is the rotation of the mouse and um, we need to get the actor rotation and the actor rotation is the actor rotation of our character um, so usually when we move uh, when we, we move the mouse around um, turn uh, the actor is not right now not uh, moving according to our movement but uh, that movement is being recorded on the control rotation so uh, we want to do something like break these open and we want to get the, the yaw from this first and uh, subtract the control rotation from the actors rotation current rotation and um, I have a, an explanation for this and this very short version of this is that uh, this rotation is a 0 to 360 rotation and this one is a minus 180 to 180 so in order to get these um, aligned up and make us uh, enable us to com compare some, some things we want to clamp this um, as mentioned, I have this all explained a little bit better, I think, in, uh, in, in a different video. But just for now, uh, into these minus uh, 190, uh, 79, 9, and 180. And then we want to make a rotator. Uh, let me drag this one in. And connect up the yaw. Now the pitch, uh, pitch, the pitch needs to be inverted. Uh, I also explained this in a different video, uh, in that that the different video. Um, find the link in the description. Um, so we need to make that inverted. Okay, so we need to do some more stuff, but for now let's just uh, go with this and then uh, improve on, on it as uh, as we test and see what problems we have with this um, so let's also take this head rotation and promote to a local variable uh, so we have that uh, ready, easily accessible um, local head rotation generation and since I'm actually gonna also gonna need the um, the yaw later on, um, and don't want to drag lines all across the, the blueprint, I'm gonna take out the yaw and isolate that in a, in a local variable. I don't, I'm not really sure I need this one actually. Um, 
But anyway, you, if you figure, if we later figure out we don't need it, then we can just remove it. Anyway, so local uh, head we all. Okay. So um, we only want to do uh, make changes to uh, yeah. Well, okay. So now we have the let's actually just uh, save here and compile and see what we have. I think we should have something that already works a little bit. So we have a, as you can see now, there's something happening. Uh, actually, now the body is turning from side to side. That was not really what we wanted because, uh, whoa, that made me dizzy. Um, this one, <laughs> this, uh, the pitch needs actually to go up into um, to row for some reason. And then, what we have now is the character that is able to bend forward and look up and he can look to the side and he can look to the other side. So the next thing we want to fix is this because when we, he reaches uh, like 90 degrees we want to make sure to turn the body with the, the rotation of the head. So let's take a look at that next and that's actually what we needed these for. I just forgot uh, why I have them. Um, okay, so um, we want to make a check uh, if the um, this local yaw is passing um, a, what do you call it, a right limit and or a left limit, and um, we don't have. Uh, constants, um, local constants, but we can just make a, something similar called uh, like a variable, local variable um, with a default value that's kind of the same. So let's make a local right head uh, your limit, and that's going to be a float. And we also want to make a similar one called left head your limit and the right head yaw is going to be 90 degrees and the left yaw is going to be minus 90 degrees so what we want to do here is to make a, a check um, make a branch um, if our local head yaw um, are greater than that limit, that right head yaw. Okay. And connect that to this one. So if this is true, then we want to set the axis head rotate, uh, set, the, set uh, adjust the axial rotation like this. And we need to figure out this uh, rotation. So let's drag this on out and make a rotator and the rotation uh, we only the, the part of the rotation we need to worry about is only the yaw and the the value we want to get is actually the first difference between these two the meaning the um, the amount that the, the head passed our limit and then we want to get the axis current rotation. And add the axis current rotations yaw to this value. Um, so I'll drag this one out. Is it plus? It is. And connect that into the yaw. So that should take care of the, uh, the right movement, I believe. Let's go check that out. So. As you can see now, the character slowly turns with him, but if we turn the other way around, uh, he still has a flip. So let's fix the other side as well. So off from the false part here, we want to check, uh, make, make another check, and say, okay, um, are we our local head joint now? Um, let's make it make a local head joint. Is this uh, less than our local?
control left withdrawal. And if this is true, um, we want to also offset the axle rotation. And it's kind of similar to the other one, just the other way around. Um, rate rotator. So we want to get the local head yaw and um, let's see. No, let's just write it in local head yaw. And then we want to get the local left head drag. Sorry. And get these two. And then the <laughs> well, subtract these two from each other to get the line that we passed the limit. And then just as before, we want to copy the actor, get the actor rotation and add that to that rate or offset of the yaw. So connect these lines up. And um, that should give us something that will maybe both the left and the right. And we can let it down and we can let up. So this is actually the basic foundation of uh, the changes that I made. And um, we have still some issues with the, um, with the movement. So uh, as a last thing in this video, I want to quickly uh, fix that and then we continue and then in the next video improving on this solution. Um, so we have this check here. So this is basically just adjusting every time. Um, but when we are not moving, uh, rather when we are moving, um, we want to um, do something else. So in between um, here, where the first branch is, we want to actually add, a, add another branch on another check. Um, and this check is going to say, okay, if we are moving, um, if we actually, if we are standing still, we want to do this. And, but if we, if we are moving, so this is going to be the moving part, uh, then we want to do something else. So to figure out if we are moving or not, we want to get the velocity and uh, check if the length, vector length of this is greater than or is actually is it when it say are you equal to zero and you can connect this one up um, and then if uh, if we are moving then the thing is we want to actually just set the the um, set actor rotation we want to set the actor rotation to the same rotation as the um, as the control so get So we can connect this one up. So when we move, you can see we are now adjusting accordingly. And when we are standing still, uh, he's going to turn away uh, around. The thing is, if I move and I look down, you will actually notice he's turning also. So uh, as before, we don't need all of the component of this rotation so we actually need only the yaw from this so we split this one up and put then the only the yaw value up here um, so now we can turn and we can actually also just walk around really looking really depressed oh, it's a hard day at work i don't want to go back to work actually <laughs> anyway i just want to code unreal engine stuff um, so one thing we want to make a little improvement on is if we are turning, for example, uh, like this to the extent and then move forward, it's going to make that snap. So we want to iron that out a little bit and we're going to do that by making, um, um, actually we want to, first of all, we want to disconnect this one first and we want to, uh, recombine it and then we want to make an, uh, rotate into it okay and 
the current rotation is um, actually this one. Uh, let me see. No, this is the one we want to have. So the current rotation is, of course, the axis current rotation. Go back to rotation and plug that in here. And um, the target is going to be the one we want to split and then feed in the yaw and the delta time is, is of course our world delta seconds and a nice value for this is going to be 10 so we doesn't take that long to uh, correct the rotation so when we play that now and um, turn a little bit and then push forward it's going to make a smooth turn not gonna just snap so that I think improves it quite a lot so um, that was actually what I wanted to show in this video in the next video I will go over some of the um, some of the things to take uh, into consideration uh, with this approach as you can see here, we have something with the rotation when we are climbing that doesn't work now, and also when we are uh, co in cover mode, lots of weird stuff going on. It's really broken now, but this is actually the the foundation um, of this. So in the next videos, we'll just um, show how to uh, work around these things, and uh, also we want to do something about the the first person because right now the body is just turning uh, along so it's not actually it's not looking correct because here i'm looking down my side i don't want to be able to see my shoulder kind of so uh, that stuff will be in the next video so thank you for watching hope you like it uh, see you in the next